Now, one thing that a lot of customers find they like to use is the float halo. This helps to sit behind your head and just support your head and neck during your float. A lot of people that are coming in for back or neck pain maybe have a lot of tension in their shoulders and neck and whether it's from working at a desk all day and typing or just over years of pain in the shoulders and neck, it's important to ease into that. You'll find that your body can't go from having a lot of tension to having no tension with a without a little bit of a gradual process into that. So the halo helps a lot with that. What you'll also find in the float room is we've got these baskets inside the basket. There's a pair of earplugs. We provide foam earplugs because most people don't even need to use the float, the earplugs for their float. They often find that if you use this vinegar rinse, which is just a solution of vinegar and water that's very gentle but helps to dissolve any salt that may be left behind in your ears, that's totally fine. And there's no problem with the salt water getting in your ears. If you've got any particular cases where you do need to keep the water out of your ears, usually the foam earplugs work well. If not, ask one of the staff that's here because we do have wax earplugs if somebody needs to use them. They are reusable for a person that comes in and uses those. And we encourage people to take them home, bring them back for their next float because they are quite expensive. So we like to reuse or encourage people to use their earplugs for multiple floats prior to discarding them. You'll also find in the basket, there's a packet of petroleum jelly. This is useful if you've got any cuts or scrapes or paper cut, something like that, that's a little bit sensitive to the salt water and that you want to eliminate that distraction from. And then there's also a Q-tip in the basket, which can help with removing any of the salt water that's left behind after the float. Now in each float room, there's also a bench that contains a hand towel and your bath towel. What we recommend is that you use the hand towel to dry your face off prior to going into the float tank, because one of the other things that you always wanna do prior to going in for your float is to take a shower. So I'm gonna switch the camera angle and explain the shower procedure to you now. 